Hey guys, Stoney Godley here with SGC Couture Fashion. And I wanna share with you today what I wish I had uh, found around the internet um, back when I was a very beginner sewist. And that is fabric. Now, if you were to look at any absolutely any pattern let me see okay now this is a vogue pattern okay now if you look at the back of any pattern especially fashion it's going to give you fabric suggestions okay and I'm going to list those fabric suggestions off for you on this particular one. Twill, satin, medium weight denim, denim. The vast majority of patterns through the big five is going to name one or more of those fabric types. So, and if you're anything like me, um, you've gone and you purchased the fabric that was pretty and you tried to use it on the project But it wasn't listed on the fabric suggestion on the back and You didn't know how to make that fabric work for that particular project and then you found yourself severely disappointed So here is what I want to do for you. I have been doing swatches of my fabrics and today I went to Joanne's and I got some fabrics that I noticed that's on the back of the back of the pack uh, at, in the fabric suggestion section, and I'm trying to get a good bit of those, okay? And um, make sure and check and see if I already have those these fabrics in my stash, or if I have very little of them, or if I have none of them whatsoever so that as I continue to fabric shop, because I am going to continue, now I will only pretty much pick up what I don't have that uh, will help me to produce more projects. So let's get started here with um, Gabardine. You're going to see Gabardine on the back as a suggestion to most, most fabric, uh, most patterns, okay? So this is what gabardine looks like, all right? And I'm gonna put it up really close. I'm gonna hold it like this. And you see the salvage, but I want you to look really close and see how the, um, the thing, knitting or whatever is going diagonally. That's one way you can tell that you have gabardine, that this is ga that it's gabardine. The other thing is it's going to begin to fray the moment that it's cut and start to be handled, okay? So again, that is gabardine, and gabardine is shiny on both sides, so you really can't tell which is the right side and which is the wrong side. You just choose whichever side you feel the most confident about. So there you guys see what gabardine looks like and you see how um, how it flows. So it's like kind of like a medium weight. This is good for blazers, coats, lightweight coats, uh, slacks, trousers, that um, though even dresses, okay? Next up, I want to show you is a linen. Most times you're going to see linen listed on the back of the pattern packs, okay? So this is what linen looks like. Let me... It has some stretch to it also. Okay. It's two-way stretch. This is what it looks like up close. It's a little translucent. You can see through it just a little bit. And um, 
also linen is always going to wrinkle okay you're not going to get around and wrinkle and you can you can press it and as soon as you move it around it's going to wrinkle back up again that's how you know you have pure linen okay um linen blends they're probably not going to wrinkle as much okay so next up is gauze gauze you're going to see um by the way linen you can use on blazers pants tops um skirts dresses so um anything except for probably like a, a coat okay this is gauze this is what gauze looks like and this you're going to be able to use on tops uh skirts dresses um uh what do you what do you call those um caftans you can do caftans with these um so yeah and that is what gauze looks like and gauze is let me see here no all right so there there you have gauze okay next up is going to be red stretch satin This is what red stretch satin looks like, and um, it does not fray very bad at all. This uh, red stretch satin is um, matte. Well, it has a little bit of a sheen on one side and matte on the other, and it's woven very tightly, okay? So you can use this on blazers, slacks, tops not blouses tops okay there's difference between blouses and tops and if you need me to go over that with you i will definitely do that next up we have shirting this is a cotton this is going to be used for some some definitely like dress shirts like what you would wear to work button downs um you can make a dress out of these, out of this, excuse me. Um, it's, it's, it's versatile. It's relatively versatile, but not pants. Okay. So primarily just the top of the body and some dresses and skirts. This is another shirting. It's just in black. That's the only, only difference. Okay. And shirting in Joanne, she'll, it'll say odorless or something like that. Uh, um, all right, so next up is twill. You also see this a lot on the back of pattern packs. And this is what twill looks like. Twill looks somewhat like uh, stretched satin, but it's not. And it's woven tightly, so you can use the twill for pants, jackets, uh, blazers, um, even tops, like tops did you want to have body to them, dresses did you want to have, you know, a lot of body, a lot of uh, big flare and stuff like that. And also, if you're trying to make like a little corset top with um, rigging boning, plastic boning, you can use this, you know, as your fashion layer next up is poly crepe poly crepe this is marvelous for blouses for blouses for flip um for uh, dresses and skirts that is very um very has a lot of movement in it so that is what this one is and it is called poly crepe and the last one i have for you is um chamoose chamoose is used for everything it has a satin sheen finish on the front and crepe which is a mat on the back 
and this is used for blouses, shirts, 